This episode of the podcast is sponsored by David Shapiro Remax around Atlanta Realty. David Shapiro Remax around Atlanta. And there's Uptown, there's Downtown, there's East Midtown, and there's West Midtown, and there's Clown Town. David Shapiro Remax around Atlanta. You can find his number right here, over here ish. Um, Tash, who do we have on today? Yeah, Desert Sharks all the way from Brooklyn, New York. Uh, four piece, very uh, punk rock in your face, uh, ready to slap you upside your head. And, uh, so a fun, fun episode. Awesome, awesome. Well, we will get you guys going and uh, look a little bit more circus peanut talk. Everyone loves them. Come on, get on the orange, orange peanut train. And you know what? Roll them on the fucking tape. All right, welcome back to another episode of Indie B and B. Today we are joined by the awesome ladies from Brooklyn out of uh, in the band Desert Sharks. What is going on? Hi. Hello. Let How are you all today? Everybody doing good today? Yeah, go around the room, introduce yourselves. I'm Stephanie. I play I'm bass Sunny. and sing. They're Sunny. I'm Rebecca. I play drums. <laughs> I'm Kate. I play guitar and do some singing. Yeah. Yay. Sunny, you didn't get in there. Oh, I'm Sunny. I play guitar. I don't sing. <laughs> I was singing for Sunny. But I'm just like having technology issues because my computer is blocking it. And then I started using this new ergonomic mouse where you don't move it. You just like scroll and it's wild to start with. But yeah. <laughs> well, we got you here now. <laughs> Most importantly, no singing for Sonny. Um, <laughs> well, let's let's start where I started with most uh, most interviews. You know, y'all are in Brooklyn, um, Desert Sharks. You know, I mean, it's an awesome name, but uh, where, where where did that come from? <laughs> oh man, we had a horrible time coming up with a band name. It was just like we hated everything. Everything was the worst, and we literally had like a list of words that were like, these are words we don't hate. And then <laughs> we wrote a song that we named Tequila Shark. It's a like super old song. And we were like, oh, Tequila Shark, should that be the band name? And we were like, no. But we, we just, we liked the word desert, desert shark. I don't know. It's not a really exciting story. I apologize. <laughs> but we were like, hey, this name we don't hate. So it stuck. And that's our tale. We have found that that's the story for most band names. <laughs> something that the band didn't hate, and like everyone could kind of uh, agree on. But uh, you know, further than that, how did how did y'all kind of come to be Desert Sharks? Craigslist. <laughs> Craigslist. <laughs> yeah, me, Sunny, Rebecca met on Craigslist. Craigslist personals. If you will, or band Is listings, that what it was? technically. Band, oh. No, it was like the musician listings, technically. <laughs> but you know, we can say personals. Because <laughs> like, like I never Ed, look at the turned out to be the Craigslist killers. <laughs> Craigslist killers. Um, and then yeah. Kate just joined the band last month. When did you join? Uh September, I guess. September, right? September. Was it then? Thanks. I don't September. know time. I don't know. Time. I don't know time. Time. Time's a construct. Yeah. But I'm new. And they've been in band for, and we love her. for a very long time. Yeah. The three y'all meet on uh, on Craigslist on on the you know less spicy side of Craigslist, and so just <laughs> jamming. Did y'all have like a sort of an inspiration or like what you wanted to be, or were y'all just like let's just uh, see what happens? You know, jam out together and see what happens. Well, the ad. I mean, Sunny. I think I answered your ad. Is that right? Um, I think I answered yours or Rebecca answered mine. I don't remember. I, some, I think we just kind of like listed a bunch of bands that yeah. we liked and just went from there. We met at a Starbucks. Which is kind of strange, oh, yeah, but. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> we met at a Starbucks and then we like just like rented one of those. Well, I don't know if they have them in Atlanta, but we have like practice spaces by the hour while the gear set up. So we just were like, oh, let's meet up. Let's hang out. Let's write some stuff. And yeah and it clicked 
so we kept kept at it. Who were some of those uh, influences that y'all were listing in your Craigslist ads? Definitely like PJ Harvey. Um, no, Sonny, like you definitely in the Banshees. Yeah, I feel like you put the Slater Kinney. Yeah, Slater I put a lot Kinney. of that. God, what else was there? It was a very long time ago. I but... really don't remember what I said. In yeah, my I mean, I, I could dig we... through some emails and find them, but. Uh... <laughs> Well, let me ask you this. Like, if you're putting out the same ad today, what would be your, you know, your inspirations, your influences? I mean, I always say Veruca Salt. I love Veruca Salt mm. and like Toadies. And I guess I would still say PJ Harvey. I still love her. <laughs> uh, Sunny, what would you say? I have to think about this. It was probably PJ Harvey because I think my email at the time was like, a lyric from a PJ Harvey song. Oh, it was. But what would you do now? They asked. Like, if we were uh, doing an ad now, probably it's, it would be exactly the same. <laughs> no, you'd put like uh, typo, typo negative. negative. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did put that. I think you did. I think you did put typo. I'm pretty negative. sure I did. Yeah. Kate, what would you oh, put? Oh, I don't know. It's. Oh gosh. Oh God, a heart. It's so hard to come up. Let me put you on the spot. I know people do tell me actually, like every time we play the, the Veruca Salt comparison, it gets like, like someone told me on Saturday again, they were like, Oh my God, like I love Veruca Salt. And like, you guys sound like, ah. I was like, awesome. Oh, <laughs> you know, yeah. someone at our show Saturday said uh, Black Sabbath meets Ramones. And I was like, that's, that's, I it. like that. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I, I feel like that. that's not the first time somebody said that either. It, yeah. I was like, hey, that's, we like that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, y'all definitely. I mean, in I mean, the beginning, everyone used to say we sounded like the Donnas and I hate them. Oh. So. Uh, right. That was just because it was like women in a band and they were like, oh, you sound like the Runaways. Oh, you mm -hmm. sound like every Wait. female band. But yeah. <laughs> when I was, in, I had a like, um, a pop punk band when I was in high school uh and uh I was like the only girl sing and doing doing a band in high school at the time because uh, I'm old now and that's super common now I guess but I don't know uh, so there, I was like the only girl so everyone just used to say that like oh so you, you sound just like one Stefani it's I was like, gonna uh, say <laughs> that's or Evanescence. not true whatsoever <laughs> um yeah but yeah i made like i was like 17 i was like oh, that's cool i made a shirt that said like not one on it and wore it to a show you know um just like <laughs> yeah that's a crack. classic uh yeah classic though it was like oh yeah you're you're like gwen stefani like oh yeah you've heard of a band with a girl in it nice right. <laughs> me too i like them yeah. well you know kind of take us through um y'all's writing and recording processes like you know do y'all get together I'm, I'm guessing y'all still get together and jam and get some inspiration from that or do y'all sometimes bring like one person will bring an idea and y'all ride from there what do y'all do both of those things uh, we we have like a practice space now that we are in every week um Sometimes it is like, we're just like, let's try to write, let's write. And we'll just kind of jam on anything. And other times like Sunny, not really me, but Sunny will come in with an idea of a riff and then we'll like jam it out. But um, we usually spend time like, like I, before I was in this band, I always, uh, I just sang in bands. So I like, my contribution during real writing process was always like, oh, to me, that sounds like a verse or that sounds like a chorus or whatever. So when we're writing and we're, we have a riff or anything, that's kind of like going through our mind, like, okay, this kind of feels like an intro or this kind of feels like a chorus. So we want to make sure we play it X amount of times or whatever. And we'll kind of build the like blocks that way. Um, and we just like do shitty phone recordings, like, I don't know, on the audio app, whatever it's called. Um, voice memo. Voice memo, <laughs> yeah. Um, and we just kind of do that and keep kind of messing around with it and playing with it. And then um, once like that foundation is set of like, we've got, okay, we've got like a general, like the song is kind of skeleton is there. Then uh, I'll 
write vocals and lyrics and Sunny will work on like any guitar solos. We are about to write some new stuff with Kate. So we're going to kind of see like how we all mesh with that too. Cause now we have more vocals and wonderful guitar. Um, but yeah, it's sometimes like during that process, like it'll continue to evolve. Like I might like be writing vocals and like, Oh, you know what, this would actually sound better if we played it three times or so we'll kind of keep, picking it apart and shaping it until we're like fully satisfied because mm -hmm. we can't, we can't just like rush it and like hate it. Cause that's no fun. Yeah. And then once y'all kind of get to a, you know, y'all get to like a very obviously close to finished product before you go recording or do you, do you sometimes go in sort of halfway done with a song and try to knock it out there? I know a lot of people don't want to pay, for studio time to be yeah. in, to no, we out. have no to way. be ready. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's too expensive. Yeah. Also, just for yeah. like our own sanity, like you know, I used to before the two cover songs that we um, recorded back in May. Is that what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I would just come up with backing vocals on the spot at in the studio, but. Um, because of COVID, we couldn't practice together for a year. So we had to learn how to like send each other tracks through GarageBand or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it actually really benefited us because then like I prepped all the backing, Sunny prepped her solos. Like we kind of like, I don't think we'll moving forward, we will not have the song kind of fully fleshed out. Like I, I already knew like what kind of effects I wanted and you know, and once you're in the studio, yes, you kind of experiment still, but. Um, Which I've got to like, the, the bones of the songs. Are yeah. Like, so it gets into the studio. Y'all aren't like, oh, yeah, we, you know, we got this like first verse done. We don't really know where. where <laughs> oh, we're no. <laughs> that would be too stressful. I think we'd all freak out. Like, uh, yeah, that would give me an anxiety attack. I don't think I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When y'all get uh, when y'all get signed by a huge label and they pay you like a year to go sit in the studio, y'all can do that. Yeah, just oh, there. You know. yeah I'm, I'm ready. Great. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, you you hinted at it, but let's uh, let's talk about Voices Carry by you know the cover. That was so awesome. What was uh, the inspiration for choosing that song? Uh, you know, it was another one of those things where like. We knew we wanted to do a couple covers. Um, we did like some covers at a, a show at shows before, like we did like a Misfits cover and we did a whole cover years ago. But then we were like, oh, you know, this might be something cool to add to our live show or whatever. Um, and I think we had like a bunch of songs we were trying to think of, but that was Voices Carry was one we all were like, we all agreed on. We've all loved that song. Love Amy Mann till Tuesday. I think we I got know. the idea when we were like coming home from a show. It was on um, our friend's car. He always listens to like '90s on Nine on Sirius, and that song was on. And we we're like, we should that must cover have been this. Eight, '80s on Eight, because '80s on eight. eight. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It was it was definitely like something that we all like. Yes, like we want to do that song, um, and we're really happy with it, and we really love playing it live. It's really fun. Yes, yeah, I mean. It's for those of you that haven't heard of this, literally a punk rock version of Voices Carry by Till Tuesday, and it does it justice like 10 times over. I, I found it amazing. Um, oh, thanks. You know, so let's, uh, one thing before we get into the song spotlight, let's uh, give me a little background information on y'all's uh, album name, Baby's Gold Death Stadium. <laughs> I think I know what it's about from an article I read, but why don't y'all explain it to our listeners? Go ahead, Sunny. <laughs> yeah, you do it. Um, so we, again, like trying to find a band name. It's like, well, what's a name we don't hate? Um, so it's kind of just words that of all the venues that we play in New York City. And they just kind of came together in a fun way. I don't remember what they all are. Stephanie, what are they all? <laughs> babies for babies, babies. all right. Mm -hmm. Gold for... Rose Gold and Gold Sounds, Death for Death by Audio, RIP, and mm -hmm. Stadium for Shea Stadium, also RIP. So, you know. The DIY venue, Shea Stadium, yeah. not, not the actual stadium venue. 
<laughs> yeah, we've been playing the actual right. stadium. I don't know. <laughs> this new. Well, that's just a very interesting way to come up for an album and not uh, <laughs> bad all the way around. <laughs> Nothing about it is not bad. Our, like coming up with song names and stuff too. Like we'll just like, I don't know. We just like word vomit and stuff will come out and then we'll be like, that's fun. And I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like we have like a precise formula or anything, but yeah, we were just like playing around in a, in a car ride or something to Boston or I don't know where we were, but we were like, Oh, let's, we should, we should call it something like this. And then we kept adding names from venues and it was like, Oh, that actually sounds pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it is um all right now let's move into our uh, song spotlight segment um for this one we chose sorceress so you know just kind of take us from beginning to end on that song well <laughs> we were at practice one day and i was commenting on all of my beautiful gray hair that's coming in and i was saying yeah i can't wait till my whole head's gray so I can look like a sorceress. And then we were like, oh, let's write a song about that. Um, yeah, what did we, how, what was the approach beyond that, everyone? Um, I have no idea. <laughs> basically, we, were, we kind of came up with the concept first. We were like, we're gonna write about yeah. witchy shit. And, uh, and they're like, cool, this sounds spooky. Yeah. And right, like, something that sounds spooky. Something that sounds spooky. We always kind of love to play heavy everything, so it wasn't very out of left field for us. But we definitely had the name in mind first, wrote the, the music first, um, and then I wrote the vocals, kind of all about uh, self-empowerment and not fearing aging because it's actually pretty awesome um and yeah and then we we recorded in a basement <laughs> that smelled like dead rats <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um but it was super fun that was our baby's gold dust stadium album we we recorded in a in our friend's basement um and yeah, and then that was like the single and we made a music video and we knew we wanted to have everybody have gray hair. We had this like concept of like, we're going around turning people into sorceresses. And then at the end, well, I don't know if I, don't know if I would give it away, but at the end, um, it's like a big party of people with gray wigs dancing while we play. So that's- That's sorceress. Yeah. I'm sure Grant's gonna wanna talk all about this video. Yeah, I uh, I watched it and I just wanted to get the you know absolute you know backstory on a like how'd you make it because I think a lot of indie bands when they you know create videos it's always you know very uh, very DIY and and you know usually somebody's got a friend of a friend who's you know a filmmaker or something so you know talk to you you know how'd you guys you know get get the you know visual set up and obviously you had some inspiration for those so we definitely had the concept. Um, and then Sonny's friend, Liam, works for, where does Liam work? He works for like a nonprofit um, film place that helps, you know, inner city kids become filmmakers. So he brought all like the cool gear and an assistant and stuff and he did most of the filming. Yeah, and then my boyfriend did like editing. Um, we shot at a local DIY venue called Pet Rescue. And every other shot, we just kind of went around the city. Like we just were in a park or like in a subway. Um, we just kind of used the city as a backdrop because it's there and it's free. Yeah. And we and we actually, wrangled all of our friends to come in. Yeah, they're both in the video actually, the people who helped make it. So Liam is in the scene in the, in the car where um, okay. I grabbed him from behind and then Dave is in the, the final scene, like the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where he's walking on the high line. Yeah. Very yeah, cool. and we and we also entice we tried to entice people by having free beer at at the end for our like witchy party. We were like, "Come to our video shoot. We'll give you free beer. We'll have." But it was in the middle of the summer, and it, it was, was like so a thousand hot. degrees in there. 
I think I threw up afterwards just from being so dehydrated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it turned out great. It was worth it. Yeah, it looks awesome. It was it was definitely uh, definitely very cool cool shots and you know just a, an awesome visual for the for the music and um you know I think the other one that I watched um, you know I don't know how to dress for the apocalypse I mean which I think is like I, I tell you what I've often thought in the, every single zombie whatever kind of movie it's like what, like am I just gonna walk out there and like my all birds and in, in tight jeans and just be like good to go or am i like do i need to get some like, combat boots and shit so like you know you, you brought up an interesting question for me but you know i think that like you guys are all you know in that one together and very very uh diy it looked like you guys shot that all in one apartment what did that what was that about this look like that was sunny's apartment um yeah it was like right when we moved, moved in. in so there was yeah. no furniture <laughs> yeah uh, we we came up that we did all ourselves. I I actually edited that one and I guess sort of directed that one. Um, where did we we just used a phone? I think yeah, all shot we, on an iPhone. Yeah, wow. shot everything on an iPhone and then used good old iMovie <laughs> to edit. Um, yeah, that was very the most DIY of our videos, I would say. But yeah, shot it all. I think we did it all in one night, right? Yeah, it was just like during the day. It oh, was yeah. just everything was just so quick. We're like, cool, one take, do it. Yeah, because we had like we had like a sort of like not a script, but we had like scenes blocked out of like, okay, mm -hmm. this is gonna happen, and and then just open kind the of, pizza box. There's a rat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, the main preparation was just getting all the props that we needed. Other than that, you know, that was it. The cake. That wasn't good. The cake did not taste good. Not Remember good. that? Looks <laughs> like you guys had a lot of food coloring in that one as well. Oh uh, yeah. Was, uh, <laughs> Our toxic did you guys actually sludge. Drink that, yeah, did you really drink that drink actually, or uh, did you just, it was just no. water with food coloring in it? Yeah, just water with food coloring that we did not drink. <laughs> I think we drank and spit it out or something. I don't know, but <laughs> yeah. Pretty awesome. That's awesome. Well. The other piece that I always I always ask about is is y'all's live sets and and just to you know to somebody who hasn't seen you live or to somebody who wouldn't see you live or had like had, had not the opportunity. I mean, like what, um, you know, what do we what do we expect from a, a Desert Shark show? I mean, when Tash and I walk in, I mean, is it you know is it a mosh pit going on? Or are we you know what what's the situation with the mic? Um. Well, I mean, two of our friends moshed at one of our recent shows, but the one just fell on the floor and spilled his beer. So I, I wouldn't call that a pit. <laughs> We're like, open up the pit. Um, yeah, it was a, we, we got pushed back. It was like a 1 a.m. set. So it's just like two guys on the floor. But, you know, I wouldn't say that's a typical show. <laughs> I mean, we like to move around. We definitely are not a standstill band. Um, we like to bring a lot of energy. We like to play very loud. Sometimes people don't like that, but we like to play very loud and we like to, yeah. Sometimes we jump off the stage, but not like jump, jump. Like we'll like take a, we're not, you know, in our, in our early twenties, we can't just dive <laughs> off. Definitely an energetic live performance. I'm very heavy for sure. We're back well, with nice. drumsticks. Yeah, <laughs> throws them out to the crowd. <laughs> right. Is anyone like getting kick us. drum? <laughs> what about the kick drum? Does anyone get on top of it, or is that like a no-no? Oh, you know, you're giving me ideas. I actually, I know no, you I, can start doing that. No, I would. I give you permission. I would break my ankle. It would. Ask, I. I, well, I would just feel bad because, like, we usually borrow like the house kit, and I don't. I don't want to be rude on it. Right, that, that is true. <laughs> Not that they're in great condition to begin with, but most of the time when we end up on the ground, it's because we've like fallen. <laughs> it's not like <laughs> and you just go with I'm it. usually so exhausted. I'm like, I just need to lay here for a minute. <laughs> it actually is true. How do I make this look cool? <laughs> I, don't, I can't remember a time anyone ever like stood on like an amp or like a drum or anything, even though, it, which is really funny because it's such like the band is very energetic live, like high energy, like bouncy. It just yeah. seems like no, a lot. No, I'd be no like, standing hold, hold stuff, my guitar really. a second. I need to get up on this. I need to lift my leg. <sighs> yeah. no, no. 
Just, just every time we play a show, like lean on it, my shoulders lunch. and my neck are sore the next day. I'm like, no, I can't. I can't. <laughs> oh, my neck is so sore from this weekend. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> worth it. Worth it. Got to get it ready for That's Thursday. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad to know y'all aren't what I read as described um, as a <laughs> four dudes looking at their shoes while they play. <laughs> <laughs> It's and not as bad. Soon as I heard that, I was like, you know those bands when you walk in and they're just like mm-hmm. straight down. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's not your Weezer. Right. Weezer is like the only band in the world that can do that. That's Everybody true. <laughs> they're allowed. They're allowed. They invented that. But yeah, they invented it and they can do it. Yeah, I don't know. I get that's too. I I, I get bored. I don't know. It's really exciting when. You know, sometimes you do have people in the crowd that do want to dance and jump around and stuff. It really depends on the night and the venue and everything. But like we've had, we've had some wild times. I'm good. I like it. I like it. Well, awesome. Well, you know, if you're ever down in Atlanta, uh, you got two guys who will definitely be there. I don't know. I can't guarantee that I'll knock Tash over and it'll, it'll spill his beer everywhere. But um, I mean, it could, de- <laughs> could definitely <laughs> happen. Uh, Where should welcome. we play? Where should we play in Atlanta? Um, well, the Masquerade, Aisle 5. Um, Rebecca, write these down. Smith's Old Bar. Um, yeah, and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll send you a few. Okay. Um, yeah, because we, we would love to play Atlanta, actually, so. Yes. Yeah. We're, we're going to try to tour more. Come on down. Come yeah. on down. Good. Well, with that, I mean, I think... We're ready to jump into Pete Peterson's party pack of questions. Uh, I've been thinking about the logistics of this uh, as the, and I think that what we're going to go, we're going to go uh, Hell Device, Sonny, Stephanie, and then end up with Rebecca. Is that all right? Mm-hmm. So I'm Check it out it. there. <laughs> I realized it was question. Hell Device. <laughs> well, hell device. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we answer the same question or we each answer a different question? You guys will answer the same question. Oh, good. So, We'll go. We'll go all the way through. Um, Pete, you're on the spot. All right. Pretty. Uh, it's <laughs> pretty pre- warning. I mean, there are some controversial questions on here. Uh, you know, we've we've heard of you know people getting in an argument after. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> we, uh, just, we're just messing. We're convinced we're gonna um, break up a band over these one day. <laughs> right. <laughs> we'll yeah. Over some some really 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 stupid questions. So. <laughs> All right, Pete Peterson's party pack of questions. Uh, 20 questions right in a row. We're going to start right now. Cake or pie? Cake. Pie. Sunny. Always pie. 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 Ooh, three pies. Right. Okay, three pies and a cake. Here we go. Ninja or a pirate, what would you rather be? Ninja. Ninja. Pirate. Ninja. Ninja. <laughs> Yeah. All right, all right. Chicken tenders or chicken wings? Tendies. I don't eat chicken, but I, I, w- I would guess tender? No, bone? Bone is weird. I don't know. Bones <laughs> I, don't no eat, bones. <laughs> I don't eat chicken either, but I'm going to go with the tendies. Tenders. Tenders. All right. With your, You're doing this uh, on the bones. tendies. Yeah. yeah, with your bones or non boneless options, um, <laughs> are you using ranch or blue cheese to dip them in? I'm ranch, but I know it's weird. Ranch, ranch, absolutely ranch. Do not. Like oh blue wow! Cheese. <laughs> all right, <laughs> no a, ra- a ranch. Gang. That's great. A ranch sweep here. Um, <laughs> all right, that. that's our next album, Ranch Sweep. Ranch Sweep. Ranch sweep. Hey, look, I'm giving right them out. I'm giving them out for free. Hey, dude, right. you're going to pay me nothing. All right. Sunrise or sunset? What are you looking forward to most? Sunset. Rise. Sunset. Sunset. Peace yeah, out, Sunny. Okay. Sunny's, Sunny's. I mean, to, I uh, think I would know the best with the name. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Your this opinion, uh, This sure. one's a yes or no. Uh, Aliens, do they exist? Oh, did yes. it freeze? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Did yeah. you, Katie? You froze for a second. Oh, no. Oh, I said yes. Okay. Sorry. Oh, yes. And they live amongst us, but go on. Oh. 
I'm going to definitely say yes. <laughs> and I say yes. All right. We're all believing in aliens. Let's go. All right. Robots, are they going to take over the world or not? I think no. No. Yes, definitely. Um, it's possible, but I'm going to say no. All right. They believe in the human mind. All right. <laughs> not me. <laughs> uh, except for Stephanie. She's, she's the only realistic one out like there. Like robots. <laughs> they surrender to our robot overlords. Um, <laughs> if you guys sit down and watch uh, TV uh, and turn your TV on, are you going to watch like a 30-minute episode of television or would you be interested more into a full-length feature film? I'm a TV person. All right, TV shows. Depends on my energy level and if I'm drunk or not. Or high or not. I agree. I'm going to say show because more so show like during the week. Mm -hmm. But a good weekend movie in there. Okay. Yeah, it depends on the scenario, but I will go with TV show. TV show. Okay. I think this Uh, one I shouldn't have even put on here, but uh, this is donuts or bagels i'm asking four new yorkers if they rather donuts or bagels grant you're an idiot but go ahead answer i'm <laughs> sure i know all four of them you know i i don't surprised. think i could i don't think i could reasonably live without either but i prefer probably a donut wow okay right? that's a hot start to it i definitely that's a, that's yeah. hot, hot take <laughs> i see <laughs> Sunny, are you freezing? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, Sunny. <laughs> oh, I said bagel. Anyways. There you go. Uh, I like both, but I do tend to buy a bagel more, so I'll say bagel. Yes, both, but probably I eat bagels more often. All right, all right. This all is right. a Sophie's choice. <laughs> <laughs> Classic Sophie's choice. That's it. <laughs> the first time somebody said that to me about that one, so I need to <laughs> car that one to make sure that when there's a super yeah, tough one to way. answer. Um, all right. You guys ever heard of these things called circus peanuts? And are you a fan of them? Circus peanuts. They're the orange peanuts you can buy at the gas station. Are you a fan? That's a no for me. Absolutely not. Okay. I haven't had one since I was seven years old, so I couldn't tell you. I'm going to two okay. thumbs down. I hate I hate the texture. I hate everything. I don't think I've ever eaten one, so I am not sure. <laughs> You're missing out. What do it tastes like? Well, you like them? Extra thumbs. You should just down. drink the gasoline that's at the gas station. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's better. Healthier and it tastes better. Yeah, they're not that. They're not that bad. I'm, I'm a big fan of them. I buy them. I buy them all the time. Um, oh. <laughs> all right. Are you guys all more in for a night in or a night out on the town? Oh, God. These days, probably a night in. I try to stay in on Mondays and Tuesdays. (laughs) Okay. Sunny parties. Sunny goes out. (laughs) Um, I'm going to have to say night in even because that's what I do lately. Yeah, I guess night, night in. Pandemic did this to me. Pandemic really (laughs) brought that down. Yes. (laughs) All right. Well, when you guys do go out uh, in the you know the occasion, you guys go into a club or a bar. Typically a bar. Bar. Yes, bar. Bar. Sunny goes clubbing. Yeah, bar. (laughs) (laughs) Sunny and I are gonna do a DJ night though. Get ready. (laughs) <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. We're waiting. We're waiting. You've been talking about it. It's gonna happen. I like it. I like it. All right. Um, this one, though, this one will be you know range through red wine or white wine. I'll go red. Depends on the food pairing. <laughs> You're so, so a fancy. Nice, a, ni- a nice, <laughs> nice fish. <laughs> yes, a nice fish. Always white, but. I guess if, if there's no food involved, it would be red. <laughs> Unless it's summer, because then in summer you want rosé. I don't, I don't know. That's a hard question. Okay, I'm just going to say red. 
I'm going to go with white. <laughs> Ooh. Right. My, binary, my binary mind, you wrote this. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I've had like no glasses of white wine in my life, so pretty much I only do red. Um, so you, you got to know who your audience is, Grant. Come on. All right, gummy sharks or uh, gummy bears? What are you going to more likely purchase at the uh, store? Oh, I'd go for the sharks, probably. Gummy sharks, all right. I'm going to give the option. Probably the bears, but if you've ever had a chocolate covered gummy bear, it's the best thing in the world. Cool. Have you ever had a sour gummy bear? Mm-hmm. Where it's covered in that. Honestly, I would go with a worm over a shark or a bear. But if I had to choose and they were both in front of me, I'd go with the shark because it's exciting. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I have to say shark because, yeah. you know, we have to. All right. All right. <laughs> Coffee or tea? Coffee. Although I do like both. Coffee. Coffee as well. Tea, coffee makes me absolutely insane. Caffeine, I will bounce off the walls. I <laughs> uh, don't really drink either, but I guess I will say coffee. Ooh, right. We're going to give you, we're going to slip you some coffee and see what happens. <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> All right, this one's uh, this is a, a pretty New York based one. The Brooklyn Bowl or Brooklyn Steel? What would you rather play? Uh, Brooklyn Steel. Brooklyn Steel. Yeah, agreed. Brooklyn Steel. Yes, Brooklyn Steel. All right, all right. <laughs> uh, Unanimous. Hey, Brooklyn Steel. We want to play. Yeah. There. Yes, <laughs> we absolutely want to play there. Yeah. We'll, we'll put them on there. Put us in there. Yeah. Uh, I love doing this to my buddy who lives in New York, but I always put up talk about Times Square. But here's just an option of the Liberty uh, Statue of Liberty or the Empire State Building. Uh, what is your choice of? What would be your choice to take somebody to? Mm-hmm. Wow, I'm like a lifelong New Yorker, and I've never gone to the Statue of Liberty, which is crazy. So I guess I'd probably take them to the Empire State Building. Love I to look would at the probably statue. go Statue of Liberty because it's fun. You get to go on a boat. I did take some out-of-town friends there once years ago, and you have to go through like a screening as if it's the airport, and they took my pepper spray, and it was really mad. Um, <laughs> but still, I would say Statue of Liberty. I'm also going to say Statue of Liberty because you don't have to actually go to it. You can just ride the Staten Island Ferry mm-hmm. and like have a drink on the ferry and then say, oh, there it is, and then come back. After hearing your arguments, I will say Statue of Liberty. Yeah, I'd like to revise mine and go back, and now I say Statue of Liberty, too. Because if we are just viewing it, then yes, totally the, the superior landmark, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, we thank the French for that. Um, is love at first sight real? Oh, this is a deep question. Is love at first sight real? I'm going to say no. No. <laughs> Yes. Sure. Yes. <laughs> half and half. Oh, the romantics. All right. Split them up on that one. All right. <laughs> Sneakers or sandals? Sneaks. Always sneak. Yeah, sneaks for sure. Sneaks. Yeah, I actually looked at Tash and said this is a dumb one. Uh, and I asked, well, oh, then when, I, when I asked that one, and he told me that it was a stupid question. Um, <laughs> finally, uh, name some artists that we might not know that we ought to check out that you guys are friends with or you know, any of that. Go ahead, Kate. Mm. Okay. I'll say um, Free to Kill, some friends of ours, super cool band. Um, here in Brooklyn, and No Kill. Both bands have kill in it. Free to kill, <laughs> FR, like free to like free to Kahlo, but kill, and then No uh-huh. Kill. Also really good. Also our label mates. Also, and No <laughs> Kill are our label mates. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sunny. Um, I had Numis, who we're playing a show with later this week, and Ugly with an I from Philly. We played with them a month or two ago, and they were really cool. Ugly uh, with an eye, and then I didn't hear that first one. What was that one? New uh, myth. 
Moon Mass. Very cool. I'm going to go with the band whose shirt I'm wearing right now, which is probably Russian, backwards. Russian, Russian Bats. Russian Bats. Yeah, we just played with them Saturday, and they were so good. They were so good. Nice. I will go with the band Nylocerus. They are friends of ours, also broken based. You might have to spell it, Rob. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. It's N I H I L O C E R O S. Spelling be champion. I think that yeah. was right. <laughs> the nihilist rhinoceros. Yeah. Nihilist yes. rhinoceros. All right. I would have definitely screwed that up. So appreciate mm -hmm. you spelling that one out. Yeah. Awesome. And uh, bonus question for Pete Peterson. I'll be coming to town. Uh, I'm coming for the, the show on, for a dry cleaning show on <gasps> Friday. Are uh, you serious? I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm going to be there. So I would say what are recommendations? We will be in Brooklyn Friday night. And mm. what are some places we need to hit? Oh, my God. After the show. So Where's the show? Later. It's at Market Hotel. Uh, Market Hotel. Oh, fun. I've been trying to find tickets for that, and they're like three hundred dollars. I am so jealous of you. <laughs> that band is amazing. Anyway, um, what's near there? Birdies. Yeah, Birdies is near there, there, right? Yeah. Birdies is cool. I don't know where anything is. Birdies, Birdies is Marcos. Which one? Marcos. 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 All right. Where's the? Uh, oh, Happy Fun Hideaway is good too. Yeah, that that's like that too. Yeah. Happy Fun Hideaway is like around like indoor around. tropical. <laughs> Old timers is over there too. Old timers did say, is good. Did you say Mad Tropical? Oh, no. But oh, but do you no. know that bar? I know yes, that bar. Also good. That's a fun bar. If you want to listen to disco afterwards. Yes. And have tropical drinks. <laughs> also good. I like I like a I like a good pina colada. I'll tell you what. Amen. We got them. We got them awesome. here. <laughs> we got them. <laughs> love it. I love it. All right. Well, I will. Uh, I'll be sure to to check out a few of those places. Uh, if we get over there, it's not my it's not my buddy's neighborhood. So he's like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we'll be. <laughs> There's stuff around. Else. You can like wander and mm -hmm. just I'm follow sure the we'll crowds of people and. I'm sure I'm sure we'll get in some trouble. So, but. Oh, yes. Always a good time on Friday night in New York. Too bad you're not coming the day before because we're playing on Thursday. That's all right. Oh, change man. your plans. You're coming out. <laughs> got to find the hotel. Got to gotta, gotta, gotta change the flight. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, that was Pete Peterson's party pack of questions. Uh, glad that I could. Uh, you know, get you guys to answer some of my dumb questions. Uh, surprised that some people don't like circus peanuts, as always. Uh, you know, I don't understand what the beef is with everybody, but um, <laughs> at some point, at some point, I'm going to have a, a unanimous decision that circus peanuts is the greatest candy ever created. So, um, <laughs> well, I want to go try one again. I haven't had one since I was Oof. a kid. I don't remember what it tastes like. Yeah, I, I don't want it. I don't think I've ever had one. <laughs> I'm prepared to reevaluate. I don't well, I want it at all, ever. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring some to practice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Well, Tash, let's, uh, let's wrap it up here in the bow. Yeah. Um, Sonny, please, please promise me you won't go buy Circus Peanuts. Um, but Desert Shark, <laughs> thank you all so much for coming on. This was a blast. Um, everybody is listening. Go out, listen. Sonny to just went to buy it. Oh, Sonny just <laughs> shut us down. She's out of here. <laughs> That's the last we'll ever see of her. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but uh, everyone go out, listen to Baby's Gold Death Stadium, pretty much everywhere that music can be found. And uh, if you're in Brooklyn this uh, Thursday, go see them live. Um, yeah, we're at TBI. Thank you all so much for coming on. Thank you. Thank you guys for having us. Y'all right. take care.